Hey everyone, Zeph here. I'm here to talk about the mods, vehicle control add-on and headland management. Uh, both work in a great combo to keep uh, your lines straight when using any types of vehicles on fields. Um, and they also allow you to do great things with uh, auto turning and uh, offsets, uh, tool adjustment, all that cool stuff. Then uh, we'll dive into it real quick. So I'm gonna hop into this harvester. Vehicle control add-on comes by default on all vehicles. It's not something you need to purchase, but the headland management tool is something you need to purchase, and we'll cover that later. But for now, uh, to start vehicle control add-on, you'll hit uh, control C to bring up the settings. Uh, most of the stuff in here is default. Um, you can change it as you like, but for now I'm gonna be going over the basic things which do not require any settings to be changed. So the key binds, and I'll put those up on the screen here. Um, control Alt W will set your working width and um, uh, your offset for your current tool uh, or tools uh, that are attached to your vehicle. Since this harvester only has a header, it went ahead and popped up and you'll see on the left side, I want to hit it again, the working width of six meters. If I now hit control W, you actually see uh, a line drawn on the field. The center line being where the center of my vehicle is going to be, uh, the outside lines being the width of the tool. Um, if I hit Alt W again, or just Alt W, that will actually set up my line. So if I actually turn to the right here and I hit Alt W and then hit Control W again, you'll see that it is now angled that direction. So you want to line up with your field first as best you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. And you'll hit Alt W and Control W to see if your line looks good, which that is. Um, sometimes you may need to adjust the angle a little bit more, but we'll cover that again later. So for now, if you drive forward and back, as long as this line's blue, your vehicle will stay on that line. If I hit left or right, it will turn the line red, which means I'm no longer locked onto the line and I can move freely. And at any time I can hit control W again, it'll lock back in, you'll see the wheels turn and it will drive back onto the line. Now this is very similar to some old mods uh, that have been in the series like uh, vehicle guidance. Um, uh, steering guidance, I'm not sure, GPS, there's a few of them, I, I think. They may be all the same, but this is the one that I've used the most with 22 and the one I've found to be the most uh, convenient to use. So I've got my line. The line will actually disappear after a while, but I'm still locked on. Uh, you can see in the bottom right above the speedometer, uh, there's a 90 degree angle set uh, with a six meter working width. Um, I can go forward and back with this just fine. Uh, I'll go ahead and turn on my header here. Um, after I unfold. Um, so I'll just keep driving forward. Uh, you can actually turn on cruise control and just kind of sit back, move your camera around, get some get some good screenshots, not have to worry about driving in, into the other, uh, other side of the field or not making a straight line. Um, and it just works. It's pretty simple. So as soon as I get to the end of the line here, I'll show you the biggest feature I think uh, vehicle control add-on has, which is lane switching. So I'm at the end of the line. I'll raise my header. I'll stop the vehicle. Uh, I'll hit, I'll hold Alt and hit D, which is going to move me to the right one lane. If I hit Alt and A, it moves me to the left. But since my next line is going to be on the right, I'll hit Alt D, and you'll see it puts my lane on the next one. And it's blue, which means I'm locked onto it. So I could drive forward and it will automatically start lining me up with that. If I needed to like reverse here, it would auto uh, auto reverse into that line. And I'll drive forward and now I'm lined up and I'm ready to start my next line. And I mean, that's pretty much how this tool works. There's some things you can change. You can change um, how many... Uh, guidelines for reverse guidance that's when you hit alt a or d how many lanes it skips so if you have a wide tool and not a lot of headland headland room you can put those like two or three uh so that you can give yourself enough room to actually make that turn um the other settings here uh, i won't actually cover too much of some of the throttle and brake options i leave those all at default they have some um all-wheel drive and differential controls oh let me get back here stop this uh which i won't cover so now i'll hit alt a Lock my line on the next one. I raise my header so I can get some more speed. I'll back up here a little bit. And then drive forward. Go ahead and turn on my header. And I should drive straight into my lane. So yeah, it's really simple to use. Um, I'll show you another great feature. Let's say like I left this field and I came back. 
And I had like uh, my tool set at an angle in another field that was like that. So the tool's not set up here. I can come here and I'm like, well, I need to line up with where I stopped or I'm on a weird angle here. I like kind of get the, I'll get close. I won't be exactly. I'll hit Alt W to set my new lane, Control W, and I'll be like, oh, wait, that's not lined up. If you could see up above, let me minimize that. The lane's a little bit to the right. If you hold right control and hit left and right, or I'm sorry, left control and left and right on the arrow keys, you can actually adjust that line. Yep, yeah, right about there. That looks good to me. Um, if, uh, say, you were lined up like this, uh, a little bit like that, you can see, like, it's like, you know, I need to be more 90 degrees. You can hold right, left control and up and down arrow keys to actually rotate the line. And the whole time you can use the bottom right numbers, uh, 90 degrees, uh, you know, uh, the working width. And you can actually, it shows the angle too when it doesn't show your tool width. So you can know what angle you're lined up at. And uh, lock on, I'm good to go. So that is vehicle control add-on, at least the basic features, the ones I use the most. The other cool thing, which you have to go into the shop for um, and add to your vehicle, is headland management. It costs 3000 bucks. I'll go ahead and buy that. Reattach my header here. Um, you can pull up here. Uh, you can see um, left, uh, left shift control X will bring up headland settings. Uh, I'm going to leave all this the, the by default. Um, the cool thing down here is GPS control. Um, when you activate headland control, headland management, it will automatically disable your GPS lock. That's fine. Um, you can also detect what GPS mod you're using, which uh, we can set to only BCA, um, automatic turn left, automatic turn right, and detect automatically. Uh, I like automatic turns. Um, so since I'm on a line where I'm gonna have to turn right, I'm gonna go ahead and set this to automatic turn right. Um, and so I'll go ahead and start my line, make sure I'm locked on. I'll go ahead and cut this field. Um, the big thing with um, headlane management is that it will uh, give you an option to toggle it on and off. When you toggle it on, like when you get to your headland or the end of your field, it will put your vehicle into a lower speed cruise control. It will raise and turn off any tools on your vehicle. And since I have that option for uh, vehicle control add-on to automatically turn right, it will automatically start my next lane, depending on my vehicle control settings. So I'm at the end of the lane. I'll hit Shift X after I drive out a little bit here. And you'll see it put me on my next lane. It's turned off my header. You hear the beeping that lets you know it's on and also an icon at the bottom right uh, beside the seed or the, the grain storage um, that it's uh, lining back up. Now, I didn't give myself enough room here to do this turn, or I could have made uh, my turns go two headings. Uh, but once it is lined up, I'll hit Shift X again, and it will start. Um, turn off headland mode and turn on my tools, turn my speed back up, and I haven't had to hit anything except Shift X on that turn. So since that was a wide turn for this thing, or too narrow of a turn, what I can do is I can go into here, uh, to vehicle control settings, change my left and right to two lanes. So now when I get to the end of this lane, I'll drive out a little bit more anyways. So I'll get around right here. I'll hit Shift X. May have been a bit too late. May hit the house. Oh, I did. Let me back up. That's going to mess it up. Let me just drive to the end. I don't need to... Uh, I don't need to actually mo uh, harvest this. Let me just drive to the end here and I'll do it again. All right, locked on. Um, I'll have my header on, cruise control on. I'm at the end of the lane. I'll hit shift X right about here. And you'd see if the field was a bit longer, it would skip a lane, start turning towards the other one. And at any time I could hit shift X again, it would turn back on my tools, turn the speed back up and I'd be lined up. So with this setup here, you can only like once you set up your initial line 
and start your run, the only key you have to hit at that point is Shift X, uh, which is incredible. Like, you know, you'll have perfect straight lines, really efficient churning, um, and it's just really easy to use. Uh, if y'all have any questions, put them in the comments. I could put a follow-up video that goes in some of the more advanced features of vehicle control add-on and the headland tool, but that is what I use it for. Um, so hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thanks.